Hey everyone, I'm BD here, and I'm about to check out from my hospital. And if my girlfriend or doctor sees me doing this video, they're probably gonna kill me. Anyways, uh, what the heck? Let's do this video. I got a lot of mail from you guys yesterday about your problems about uh, content creation, so I thought about doing this video real quick before leaving this uh, sick place. Uh, so let's talk about content creation using a technique called content curation where you can create brilliant content without actually hiring a writer or paying someone to do that. And the thing is, what exactly is this content creation uh, thing? So if you look at this image here, uh, what is the first thing that you know comes to your pick mind? Because when I, whenever I look at this picture, this screenshot, or whatever it is, uh, it's from a movie called Indiana Jones, The Raiders of the Lost Ark and it's a warehouse with lots of stuff on it right so when i look at the internet it, it, it's pretty much similar to this arc there's a lot of information there's a lot of data not information there's a lot of data and it takes so much time to make sense out of it so content curation is something where you collect and catalog only the most important and the most interesting stuff, the most interesting thing about your topic, about your niche, about your subject. Uh, so you can share it with your blog readers or subscribers or, you know, on social media for money, for affiliate commission, for traffic, for social reach, for SEO, for a lot of other things. Right. So. Content creation is something where you pick a lot of good stuff from the haze, from this warehouse of data and create information out of it and share it with others. Now, there are, uh, according to seomollage.org, there are five kinds of uh, content curation, the aggregation, the distillation, the elevation, the mashup, and the chronology. I'm gonna go I'm going to read this from the blog right here. The aggregation which consists in uh, curating the most relevant content about a topic into one single location. This is the most common way of, uh, you know, curating content and it is at the base of the majority of the content curation services actually present online. So, aggregation is when you just pick up someone's work uh, and, you know, stick a couple of other things and put it on your blog right i come into distillation this is where uh which purpose is is to distill the overall noise about a topic to its most important and most rele relevant content the basic the best case of uh, social content curation can be catalyzed into this definition i don't really make much sense out of it but uh, as far as i to uh, see and uh, you know understand distillation as far as I use distillation in my business it's about understanding my subject finding what everyone is talking about and picking out the most important or the most hot topic the most discussed topic and putting them into an article uh, now, now let's talk about the elevation uh, elevation is when curator drops it a more general trend or insight on the mass of daily music that is pretty much similar to distillation mashup is one of my favorites it's to merge different content about a topic creating a new original point of view of the same it's something that websites like paper.ly or scoop.it are pretty famous for now chronology is something uh, similar to Infographics, sorry. Um, so chronology is uh, usually consists in it is consistent in presenting a timeline of curated information to show the evolution of particular topics from like this was an egg, then a chick came out, then it became a chicken, then someone baked it. Anyways, so this is what content curation is. So in the most basic way, content curation is collecting uh, good information on the internet and putting them together and sticking it on your blog or on your newsletter or for your subscribers list right so you would ask me why would I want to curate why would I want to copy someone else's work I'm gonna tell you that 
in a minute. Now, the most important reason is for the SEO, search engine optimization, because content curation helps SEO. When you curate content from top influencers, you are inviting comments and eventually black, uh, backlinks to your site. Right. As more people link to your curated content, search engine products like Google Spires will notice you. They will, Google will be like, okay, uh, this guy has got something that people are talking about. People are coming back to this guy's website, this guy's blog, this guy's newsletter, and they're commenting on it. They're, they're liking his post, they're reading it. So this guy probably has something important and they're gonna crawl your blog, they're gonna crawl your website. Right. In turn, this will boost your site's page ranking. Now, I know I'm not talking about the page rank algorithm, I'm talking about the ranking in SERP and, well, ranking in front of the Google. Right. So that will increase more traffic for you. If you share, comment, and credit only the best source in your curated article, then people will tend to look at you as an authoritative source of information and the creator of your site will uh, start uh, you know desiring to be cited by you the, these people will want you to publish their stuff because you are getting them eyeballs and in turn well of course making traffic and money out of it and now let's talk about the amplification of the social reach which is well, one of my favorite stuff. Content creation allows you to draw from an unlimited library of useful information as a basic, creating new and value-added content. Now, in this way, you are distilling the information of the world through one voice that is yours and easily shareable on social media. So, you see where I'm going there? By doing so, you provide great value to your readers, to your blog readers, to your subscribers, uh, or you know to your Twitter list and to your business as you watch your social reach grow exponentially and now I'm talking about this establishes you as a top leader where wow okay yes it, it definitely does by creating the best industry sources you are using your social media profile as a medium to show uh, your audience uh, the stuff that you like and you're sharing your discoveries you will eventually yourself as a thought leader you'll eventually establish yourself as a thought leader as a thought leader you'll attract a loyal base of followers that will turn to you for information and insight now when you have loyal customers when you have loyal followers well of course you're gonna make a lot of money that's pretty simple I'm talking about the business part right now how exactly do you curate well Practically speaking, curation is pretty simple. It's all about, you know, gathering all the information about your subject, about your niche, and putting it through this filter. Yeah, the picture makes it pretty clear. Anyways, just about. So there are exactly two ways uh, to do this, or at least two ways I know of doing it. It's either you do it yourself, take a paper and pen, start working your ass off, or you use a software or a plugin. Uh, software and plugin, you know, gets the job done, but, you know, doing it yourself, it just makes things so much more beautiful, just like the icing on the cake and cherry on that icing. Wow, I feel like eating a cake right now. <laughs> uh, let's talk about do it yourself way. There are two phases of this the discovery phase and the production phase. I'm not gonna be talking about the production phase in details. And this video because it's very simple you just have to create a template based on your readers choice how they would like to view the uh, blog post or your newsletter or you already have a template of yours so I'm going to be focusing on discovery now discovery is where you get and where you, where you search about all this content now my favorite part uh, places to search uh, for content based on my uh, subject and niche are these well Google Alert, Stumble Upon, Twitter, Paper.ly, Google Plus, one of my favorite. Strawberry Jam. Now, Strawberry Jam is still in beta and you can't access it until you have an invite from someone. I'll try to get you a demo uh, tomorrow, maybe, because I don't have access to this on my netbook. 
Then we have Feedly, it's an Android and iOS uh, application, Pulse Pulse, Delicious, and Technorage. Now let me give you a couple of uh, demos here. Uh, let's see, okay. Let's try and start with technoready.com, right? Now I'll take my cursor here and type technoready.com. Boy, my network is slow. So technoready is a website where a lot of uh, blogs and their posts are, you know, ranked based on their authority. So you can pretty easily find all the good stuff, all the stuff that has high authority and people are liking it. So uh, let's say I'm going to create a blog post about weight loss. Pretty general topic, right? I'm gonna click. Type weight loss here and uh, press enter. And make sure you're selected this post instead of blog. We're not searching for blogs, we're searching for blog posts. So if you look here, we have 10 pages of stuff on weight and weight loss. So if you have weight loss supplements linked to lower damage, a new study, right? Weight loss success. Big Brother is watching you, the new wave of weight loss apps. Weight loss can decrease estrogen, a known risk, blah, blah, blah. Weight loss may cut cancer as well. Too good, I'm skinny. So you see, there's, there are a lot of content about weight loss which you can, you know, easily pick up. And let's talk about Paperly. Oh, you, 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 know, you can't actually search stuff on paper to flee. Here's a little syntax that you want to note down. Go to google.com and type this. N U R L colon paper.le space your keyword. In our case, it's weight loss. Press enter. So this will actually remove this space, sorry. So this will open up all the, you know, paper.ly posts about weight loss. The, the first one is the weight loss and health daily. And health daily, I'm gonna click on this one to so show you how exactly it looks. And it's kinda, paper.ly is actually a content curation website. It's a producer, right? So you can create, curate content and publish as a paper that lead. So these are all the articles about weight loss from different websites coming in. The articles, the tweets, the Facebook stuff, a lot of stuff coming up here. So you can easily pick up some really, really good content from here. Let's talk about stumble upon. Now stumble upon, that's right. Go to stumble upon. And I guess I need to sign in. Do I have Facebook? Yeah. That pretty much sucks, but don't look at my password. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to type weight loss here. Press enter. Come on. Wow. Fast 15 fat burning food stuff. Wow, it's a pretty interesting topic I can, you know, use here. Sorry, the hospital Wi Fi sucks. Okay, here it is. Fruits, watermelon, berries, I love berries, veggies, cucumbers, hot peppers, and now a lot of you guys love cucumbers. <laughs> Jokes apart. So, you know, you can just keep on searching here all the time, like it, dislike it, move on, you'll find a lot of good content here. Now, coming to Google Plus, sorry, plus.google.com. It's one of my favorite place to get content in our sign in. Okay, here we are. So what I'm gonna do in Google Plus is that I'm gonna type weight loss and I'm gonna press enter key. So then 
this is a lot of Google Plus things about what Google Plus things about the weightless stuff. What I'm gonna do is instead of everything, I'm gonna click here and select box. And here we are. Weight loss surgery for teen becomes more common. Beyonce celebrates 60 pound weight loss. Oh my god, this thing is gonna catch some heat. Weight loss advice, try these tips. So there are a lot of good and popular weight loss stuff coming up from Google Plus. So this is where, you know, you can catch up a lot of stuff, you know. Now, let's move on. Talking about the software or plugin. Uh, let's talk about the plugins first. Uh, the plugin uh, uh, that's my favorite and I'm currently using on a couple of my client blog is the Insights. Now, Insights is a brilliant plugin. What it does is that when you're creating a blog post, it comes up with all the Flickr images, the YouTube videos, the Wikipedia articles, the articles from other blog posts about your content, about your topic, about your subject, and shows it in a little um, sidebar when you're typing out your blog post. So what you can do is just click, drag, and drop it on your uh, editor and publish it. So it makes things so much simple. And I love this plugin. Um, then there's a plugin called Zamanta. It's pretty similar to Insight. There's Aperture, it's, it's pretty nice. Snapshot, it's more about images, but it does the job well. Uh, I do have a plugin of my own that's about to be released in a couple of months, still on the drawing board, still working out. But it's gonna be really, really awesome. It's gonna be really huge. It's gonna include a lot of templates. So you don't have to exactly write, uh, I mean, like, you know, create and, you know, put images and videos and all that. You just have to select a template and publish. Anyways, we'll talk about that later. <clears throat> Let's talk about the software. Um, there are a lot of uh, content creation software, but Page One Curator is the best. Uh, currently, Page One Curator is not for sale. It's going to be releasing on 12th June this year. So, uh, 10 more days, I guess. 15 days, right. So, in 15, 16 days, it's going to be released, and I'm going to make sure you get. Uh, to see this thing in action. It's a brilliant software. What this does is that it runs on your desktop, whether Mac or PC, it'll run on your desktop. You can enter a keyword, a bunch of keywords, it'll find all the content for you. Drag and drop, create a po post about with images, content, Wikipedia articles, videos, uh, uh, feed from Twitter, from Facebook fan pages and groups. And with one click, you can publish it on your blog post, right? So it's pretty, pretty. It's a pretty brilliant uh, software from one of my friend called named uh, Paul Clifford. If, if you've heard of him, he's brilliant. So that's pretty much about the content curation stuff. This is a bit the signing off. Here's a bunny for you. And watch it for the video I'm gonna send you tomorrow. It's about traffic and conversions. You know, after content, your biggest issue is traffic. So I'm going to be talking about the traffic tomorrow. I'm going to sign off now, take some rest, go back home, probably eat something good, something that doesn't have spicy. And please, please, please take good care of your health. Thank you.